Genki Call here with your Soul Forge offerings for the week of October 30th, 2023. I haven't looked in here except to scout out these gem summoning stones. The only one that's really something you might want to look at is the blue summoning stones because you could get the Eldritch Minion. Convert all brown gems to purple if an enemy is cursed, gain half my mana back. It's the convert brown gems to purple and starting battles with full mana. This can be incredibly useful during Guild Wars, and, you know, if you don't have it and you need it, it is available here. It's gambling, but we'll go ahead and craft one. Let's see. I'm expecting the common. I didn't get the common. This is a good troop, but, you know, not what we were looking for. Um, also, under brown, I mean, there is one more here that is interesting. That is the werewolf. You don't ever want to cast a spell. Oh, it's not the where. Oh, it's not what I was thinking of. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Forget that. <laughs> Let's go in here and see what we've got. So as far as legendaries go, the Keeper of Souls. Transform all gems of whatever color you like to skulls. This guy can be really great on a skull spamming team because you can just loop and loop and loop and it's fantastic. He's also a necromancer, so you have a chance to get extra souls from battle and... Um, there's a chance to summon a white whenever an enemy dies, so you can keep your team full up. Gog and good, meh. He's going to do something. You don't know what he's going to do. I would never use this troop because, no. You could lose all your gold. Um, you do get bonus gold, but not good enough. I mean, I do love this artwork. <laughs> I like to use this for my thumbnail sometimes. But besides that, I'm not impressed with the troop personally. Next is Magnus, who I actually really like a lot. He does damage to all enemies boosted by diseased and poisoned enemies. And then he diseases and poisons them all. But that's not all. There's also that he inflicts a random status effect on 4 plus gem matches. Could be Deathmark, could be Lycanthropy, I hate Lycanthropy, uh, could be anything, any of the negative status effects. And he is impervious himself, plus he's greedy, so extra gold for your battles as well. Next, uh, da -da -da -da, the Dragonstone Guardian. This guy's new, new-ish. He does damage to all enemies, creates a mix of five good and bad gargoyle gems. Reduce damage from skulls by 50%, 35% to give or reflect to a random ally at the start of turns, uh, when your turn begins. If you need him for your power levels, maybe. I don't see spending 800 diamonds on any of these guys. It's expensive. Getting a legendary is expensive, and I would only recommend it if you just have to have a troop for your power levels or... Um, if it's just so amazing, like Tesla, who was just in the Soul Forge recently. If it's an amazing one, then absolutely. But otherwise, generally don't recommend spending your diamonds on this stuff, but that is entirely up to you. Now, as far as the mythics go, Guard's Avatar is great in certain situations. He doesn't do much, it seems. You know, my magic's 35, he's going to do 19 damage to all enemies, but it is boosted by his armor. And so you hit him, first of all, put him in a delve where you have boosts from the um, from the horde, and that is going to make this a lot higher. You hit him with the shield of Urskaya, oh, he's very powerful. And in um, world events, you know, different things that can boost his spell, He's very, very useful in certain situations, especially for delving. If you can't take Rowan in, you can take him in, right? Next up is Ishtara. She does have the ability to loop because she's going to create nine yellow gems boosted by blessed allies. So an additional up to an additional uh, four yellow gems. She does have a 50% chance to bless a random ally at the start of every turn. She has 40% skull damage reduction and she does do damage to all enemies. Next up we have Astra Mother. She is in the drop table right now for your event keys. So if you really want the Astra Mother, try to get her with your event keys first. You have through Sunday to try and get her rather than spend 4,000 diamonds on her because that's very expensive. She removes all gems of a chosen color. 
you don't get any mana out of it, but you deny that color to your enemy and you boost your scatter damage with it. So every gem that you remove is an additional five true scatter damage. She's not that powerful, even in delves, not that powerful, but she has pretty artwork. <laughs> She does have a 40% chance to give Reflect to a random ally at the beginning of each turn. Check out my last video, the one for uh, Divinium Fields that I just put out to give you a little bit more information on how this Reflect works and how it can be very powerful. But anyway, next up we have the Consort of Darkness, who's okay. There is your magic plus one chance to slay an enemy. If the enemy dies, create 12 skulls, otherwise eliminate 10 from all of their skills. This number can go up with a variety of different ways. There are ways to boost your magic in battle, different troops that can boost this, that can make him more effective. But at the end of the day, he is very much like, um, oh shoot, who is it? Not Scorpius. There's another one that's that uses purple that's like this. The Archduke. The Archduke has a trait that will raise his magic every turn no matter what. That makes him the better choice. But this one is from Darkstone, which is a magic kingdom. So if your power level blocked in Darkstone, that would be a good reason to craft this, even if you don't ever use him. And he does summon a Darkstone at the start of battle, so there is that. And hold on just a second... All right, as for weapons, let's see. This is the new weapon I told you in my last video. Don't craft this. This is in the event shop for Journey. I don't recommend spending your diamonds on it. You're going to get it if you're participating in the Journey event anyway, and you'll be using gems instead of your diamonds. But it'll do damage to an enemy boosted by green allies and centaur allies. Next we have... Oh, the Doomed Chronicle. If you want to be a troll craft this <laughs> you know guild wars damage scatter damage plus four per tempering level create a mix of six purple gems and skulls for every purple enemy give three magic to all allies and if the enemy has a doom you know the usual spiel it also looks like it creates a dark storm that's this one and webs the first enemy so you know if you want to be a tool, <laughs> did I say tool? <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's great for Guild Wars defense. Next up, we have the Shooting Star. The Shooting Star is going to dispel all enemies, so if they have any positive status effects, it will remove them all. Deal damage to an enemy and eliminate half of their attack. That could be very useful if you're fighting something like, say, the Web Spinner, who's going to do triple skull damage to your troops. Next up is Rosebow. This is going to do damage to an enemy boosted by Divinion Fields allies, then create a mix of six blue and yellow gems for each Divinion Fields ally. I fail to see why blue. It seems an odd choice, but blue and yellow it is. Next is the Firefly. Firefly is going to do damage to an enemy boosted by Centaur allies and create a mix of six green and yellow gems for each Centaur ally. That makes a little more sense to me. Next we have the Staff of Fields. This is one of the 75 uh, diamond ones, one of the cheapos. Remove all yellow gems, deal damage to an enemy boosted by the gems re removed, and if the enemy is from Divinion Fields, or if the battle is in Divinion Fields, deal double damage. It will also cure it'll remove negative status effects from your hero do, 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 do. eye of orion it's a splody weapon and i do love my splody weapons explode 42 yellow gems grant a random status effect to all divinion fields allies and then summon a divinion fields troop love the splody weapons this one uses red and brown love 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 gotta love them i do i love them and uh yeah what well, that looks like it's it. That is all. All right. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, to, 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 let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.